Lawrence O'Toole using that length of his arms and legs to get a fantastic cut. Holy moly! Lawrence getting through there really fast. We have a new world champion, ladies and gentlemen, here in Liverpool. Good, good. Um, can I get a medium latte, please? Medium latte? Yeah. Hailing from suburban Melbourne, Lawrence O'Toole is not like the majority of his fellow competition who hail from the country. His Doncaster home sits right in the centre of Melbourne, an urban metropolis, far away from the country and the traditional home and growth of wood chopping. But that hasn't impeded him in the slightest because, as an athlete, Lawrence is as dedicated as anyone. He has won numerous world titles in traditional wood chopping and been inducted into the Legends Hall of Fame. In the Steel Timber Sports Arena, he has won an Australian title, two Australian trophy titles, six team world titles, and a pivotal individual world title. You could say that he has scooped the pool in almost every genre of the wood chopping and timber sports worlds. And that isn't the least bit surprising when you look at the deep lineage the O'Toole family has in this sport. Wood chopping has been a huge part of my family. Started back with my grandfather, who was a world champion. And then he had four boys. Two of them became world champion, one being my dad and my other uncle, Marty. So it's you know, only natural for me to follow their footsteps and want to emulate their success in the sport. Uh, my first real memories of wood chopping would have been sort of in the backyard at home, watching my dad, and then, you know, the excitement of getting my first real axe. I remember when I had a wooden axe for a long time and then I begged, begged, begged till I finally got my first proper tomahawk style axe. I remember that, like, really vividly. My first wood chopping competition was back in 1992 at Erica in Victoria, a little country wood chop. I actually got second in the boys' chop there, but I still remember it really well. Over the years, Lawrence topped the podium in the most coveted events, winning the prize world title in the 15-inch competition at the coveted Sydney Royal Show. Timber Sports didn't really have any sight on my radar or whatever to even want to compete in it. I just started in Timber Sports pretty much for something to do in the off-season of my traditional wood chopping. Over time, it's probably transitioned to now I've got way more interested in doing timber sports than anything else.